Today, we're gonna learn how to do the long distance spinner with my buddy, Rockus from Lithuania. The internet's helped me reach millions and millions of fans, and I guess Rockus is one of them. I started car throwing because of Rick. I saw his video and I was so inspired. Yes! He's very competitive. He holds four world records for yeah. car throwing. Rick has never been on Fulas, but I have. The first time I appeared, I said something that turned out to be very significant. And I'm a holder of the World Guinness record for the highest throw of a single playing card. I didn't even know the world record existed. Once I did, I wanted it to be mine. Yeah, and so Rick respectfully defeated my record. He still holds a world record for card throwing. I am able to shoot 122 cards in a minute with one hand. Something that I will never be able to do. Can you give me a copy of that? Yeah. <laughs> now we're performing as a duo with very specialized skills. There's no doubt Rick is the best card thrower in the world. He's fast, he's accurate. Rockus is the only card thrower in the world that I will share the stage with. I hope you guys have two trophies. Fingers crossed. Please welcome world record card throwers, Rick Smith Jr. and Rockus. Hey guys, my name is Rick Smith Jr. Hi, my name is Rockus. Some people say that I am the best card thrower in the world. And some people say that I am the best card thrower in Lithuania. Wait, aren't you the only card thrower in Lithuania? Yes. Oh my goodness. I am known for throwing playing cards the farthest. The hardest. <laughs> and I am considered the most accurate. And I'm known for throwing cards the fastest in the entire world. Now there's a lot of people out there that say there is no magic in card throwing, that it's merely pure skill. But tonight, Rick and I intend to prove otherwise. Rockus, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's move this board into position. During the last year, we spent a lot of time at home competing on YouTube at car throwing and talking about what we would do when the world returned to normal. More than anything, we found ourselves wishing that we could be somewhere else. <laughs> like outside? So we invented a game. We challenged ourselves to create artwork of places we wanted to travel by throwing playing cards. In fact, Rockus and I, we're throwing cards right now, drawing a picture. I want you guys to think of this as a magical prediction. In a second, two of the greatest magicians of all time will be joining us on stage for the card throwing competition. Penn, Teller, would you join us? Round of applause to Penn and Teller, everyone. Here we have a wall that has 24 targets. And on the back of each target is an iconic building from a city that we want to visit. Like the Colosseum in Rome, or the Big Ben in London, and so on. What we would like you each to do is to throw cards at these targets until one card sticks and the building on the back of the target will be yours. So let's see who's the first one to stick the card and select the building. Well, let me show you guys how I do this. Take a playing card and I pinch it with my two fingers. And I throw it by bending and throwing the card like this. Okay. You guys are gonna be aiming at the target. So you can choose any target you'd like. Okay. okay. So in this case, Rick's building would be Gediminas Castle Tower in Lithuania, which by the way is a great <laughs> choice. That's good. Rick, do you want to make this more interesting? Absolutely, how are we gonna do that? Okay, so if Penn's card sticks to the target first, you give $100 to me. Okay. And if Teller's card sticks first, I'll get 100 from you. Deal. Wait, what? Penn, Teller, you can start throwing cards now. Okay, sure. 
Oh, I was close. Was. Oh, oh, we got one. We got one. Try Rick, it. you owe me a hundred. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Penn Teller. You guys can take a seat. We'll give them a round of applause for helping out. Penn and Teller, everyone. So, Penn, you successfully threw a playing card into this target right over here. There's a lot of different targets. You could have chosen the Great Pyramids of Giza. You could have chosen the <laughs> Leaning Tower of Pisa. It rhymes like a match game. Tell her, you threw cards, and you could have randomly chose Taj Mahal or uh, Eiffel Tower. But, Penn, you successfully threw a playing card into this target. And on the back of this target is the Tower Bridge from London. So for everyone out there that thinks there is no magic in card throwing, we say... Take a look at this. How did you rehearse this if you're in Lithuania and you're in the U.S.? Uh, so we were just practicing uh, on the inter internet through the webcam. And the first time we met, like, practice everything in real, like, life was 24 hours ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No Basically. way! During the rehearsal was the first time we ever did it. <laughs> like, like we've never prompt. shared the stage ever before. Together. <laughs> so so. The, the real magic is just getting this act together. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see if Penn and Teller will throw you a trophy. Uh, yeah, we shall see. Rick Ruckus, boy, uh, really nice. You know, we, uh, we were friends with one of, the, um, one of the greatest magicians of our lifetime, was Ricky Jay. Yeah. And Ricky Jay was a world-class card thrower. And Ricky Jay was also a fabulous magical mind and a wonderful historian. And it is astonishing that you've come up with something that Ricky Jay never did. Ricky Jay never really did, that I know of, a magic trick uh, with card throwing. He did them as two kind of separate things. And you've got a really, really good trick here that has, uh, I mean, you have juggling magic together. You have a real skill with a, uh, with a, with a real trick. And we loved it. But I'm going to ask you one question, because I don't think uh, you fooled us. I know you'll be, you'll be honest. But we think even though you showed us uh, the Eiffel Tower and the Taj Mahal, uh, and I, I happened to hit the Tower Bridge, that you could have taken any one of the plates, including the ones you showed that were the Eiffel Tower and the uh, Taj Mahal, any one of those plates you could have turned over and there would have been a mechanism to make that plate, any plate that I'd hit, turn into the uh, Tower Bridge. Absolutely not. Absolutely not? He was saying mechanism, so Please. I don't. Hey, new I'm passion. not sure. <laughs> Frisbee. <gasps> Are you kidding? Bring down the trophy. Yeah! Are you kidding? Yes! Are you joking? Yeah! Is this a thing? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Amazing! Wow, this is yeah! this is so awesome. Rick Smith Jr. and Rocket. Yes! Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs>